2024 was an incredible year. I hope you had the same incredible year. Let's find out what happened to me on my YouTube channel. Hey, before we start with the main video, I would like to thank you the following companies for their support. They support me through the YouTube membership program that I created for companies who care about software testing and are active in supporting the testing community. Thank you once again. If you want to learn more about the supporters, check the video description down below to find the links to their products. If you miss your logo on this page, follow the QR code or send me an email. Happy testing and now back to the main video. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my software testing YouTube channel. It's me, Daniel. Happy that you're here today. You have seen it in the title. As a tradition, I'm going to talk about a recap about my year in 2024 in the software testing industry. Some personal notes, some not so personal notes in terms of what happened in terms of my content contribution for the software testing community. And as I said before, it's already a tradition. When I started blogging in 2020, no, 2011, I think it was 2011, I already did a recap on my blog Adventures in QA, what happened that year and so forth and so forth. Maybe I missed some years because I just missed to write the summary, but I would love to continue with that tradition also here on my YouTube channel because this year was a really cool year for me personally, but also for my channel and I think you can guess why. So let's find out. So let's do a quick recap on my content contribution for this year. So my mouse not working. So personally, what happened to me personally? Well, a couple of things that I would like to share with you. First of all, my family and my friends are healthy and self safe. So that's really important to me because that gives me a good feeling that I can focus my work on my, on my professional working life, but also on my content contribution. So that's really important for me. On the other side, it all, everything comes with a drawback, right? I mean, I did less sports in my free time compared to the years before. Yeah, because I focused mainly on YouTube in my spare time, content contribution, talking to people, preparing content and all this kind of stuff because for of you, because you asked for it, you gave me great feedback. So that's why I have done that way. In 2025, I will change a bit my at least sports activities. So that's at least my goal. Well, again, I visited some great places this year. I visited Sweden, I visited uh, Austria. So that was really great for me. I was visiting family and friends. So that's good. That's always important for me to recharge my batteries. On the other side, I did some conferences, webinars and podcasts. However, there was a shift. If you take a look at the recap video from last year, you will see that I've done much more in other conferences and other things. So I have done much less uh, compared to other last years, right? I have only, only done two webinars. I think yeah, last year was many, many more webinars that I've done. I have only done two online conferences this year compared to I think six or seven last year, including on-site speaking engagements. And for that year, I completely focused on not going to any conferences. I mean, it, it kind of hurt a bit because looking at all the, the, the social media activities from the really great software testing conferences that we have out there, I kind of had a little FOMO, but that's part of the game if you focus on things that matters for you and that right here. So for me, it was staying focused on online events and doing all the things that I can do in my spare time for my YouTube channel. I did two podcast recordings, also not too many things, right? From a blog post perspective, I have done again less blogging in 2024, again with the same focus. I would like to focus on the channel. I only wrote three blog posts for other blogs, like things that you can find on Adventures in QA in my publication section. Um, however, on the other side, I did 53 um, blogs on my own blog, writing about my videos, about the things that I'm going uh, um, at the moment uh, having in my mind, basically. So that was a good thing for me. I was focusing on my own content contribution. On the, as I said a couple of times now, my main focus in 2024 was on YouTube because that is for me right now the channel where I get most of the feedback, most of the responses, and I can also see like much higher growth rates compared to old-fashioned 
blog posts and it's 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 a sad actually that people don't read too many things right now they're just more in the consuming side like watching videos watching shorts and these kind of formats so that's why my main focus for that because um I think we come to just some bullet points in a second. I, when I started my, or my, I, I mean, I started at Plog, uh, the, the YouTube channel in 2022. And I think in the beginning of 2024, I had around about 23, 24,000 subscribers. And I could see it in the trend of the growth rate that if I really push hard this year, I can reach the 100K. And if you have seen my previous videos, spoiler alert, there is the 100K subscription um, or like YouTube pledge button that you get the silver play button and I'm really happy that I reached that goal basically and that was really my main focus for this year. So to give you some numbers in total I created 56 long videos on YouTube yeah so that's that's actually um, or 65 65 sorry my English today is bad 65 long videos on YouTube and with long videos I can share in a second what that means in total I created more than 870 minutes of video content and that's really cool I mean it's also like kind of shocking if you think about the amount of minutes and hours that I just created just created for software testing related content and this makes me a bit proud and in this number there are no shorts included yeah and this is just the video time like the really like the the playback time that you can see on the other side of the screen and it's not including time for editing for redoing videos for copy for graphic design for writing text for writing blog posts for preparing social media posts and all this kind of stuff so there's a lot of stuff that's coming on top but i really enjoyed it yeah so the average video time was or is 17 minutes yeah more or less 17 minutes i have some longer videos uh, on this channel for this year like i think 40 minutes 40 something minutes but also less um like like shorter videos in terms of like six minutes or something so yeah that's also fine but in average it's 17 minutes and on top of it i created 412 shorts this year yeah, so I created like a short every day. I prepared them in advance. Like there are some quotes on software testing, software relating topics that you can like, like little snacks that you can consume. If you check your timeline on the YouTube shorts, for example, or on yeah, on YouTube shorts, basically that's my main focus for this one. On top of that, I created some other shorts that I could really see some really nice engagement too. So that's really cool. Um, as I said, my main channel focus was to reach 100k subscribers and I made it, as you can see in the background, and I made that milestone or I reached that milestone on September 3rd. And it was really, really cool, to be honest, right? To finally see that number, like the counter, like switching from 999,999 to 100 and then going up again, that was really cool. It was really, that was my... Um, I never expected basically to reach that goal with just testing content, but it's really cool to see. And still, I think right now when doing that video in the middle of December, I am around 123,000 subscribers roundabout. So it's still growing and that is really cool. And that is my main motivation basically to also do more content for you because you give me the feedback that you like it. And that's really cool. But what has changed in this year, because I would, I, I was doing like some analytics, like what can I do in order to improve my YouTube channel to reach more people in the world. And what I've done is basically written in the second bullet here is I optimized my video descriptions with better SEO and better tagging systems. So that's what I've done. I could clearly see that based on that, like more people coming in and more um, um, growth happened basically. Yeah. I changed a bit the, the channel design and the thumbnails. We'll come to that in a second as an example. That was also something that I learned from yeah, other YouTube channels like to be more like colorful, more precise in the in the tone of voice that you put on the thumbnails. And I'm right now thinking again of doing some little tweaks here and there. So this is just some minor things. Yeah. On the other side, I also engaged much more on social media and social media. I mean, it's like the obvious channels that are out there. I wrote posts, I commented, I left feedback, uh, social interactions, uh, I posted into into groups. I participated in some challenges and stuff like that to really to put my face basically on the map and the different social media channels, which also helped me in order to 
yeah, get more engagement and also to get more uh, better reach, for example, um, because my, many of my videos got picked up by great testing newsletters out there. So this also gave me more traction and more visibility, which paid off in the end. Um, as I said, I had a constant growth rate of subscribers, which is was for me really cool to see. I mean, of course, there were some dips, but overall there was like a, a constant growth rate over the year. And this helped me also in order to reach my basically my my, my goal to uh, reach 100k subscribers. So that's cool. Um, what else ha I have changed? I added a member section. So if you would like to support me in doing all this kind of stuff, you can check somewhere on YouTube. There's like becoming a member or something like that. So you can support me on different um, member options. So this also gives me some traction in the community. There's some of you supporting me as a, as a fan. And as a fan, it says it's like one euro, one dollar, depending on your region to just support me. There's another subscription where you get early access to the videos. And I also did like a, a bigger brand packages for companies that you can see basically in my video where I can briefly highlight the sponsors and supporters for me in the subject testing community. This helps me again in order to, to invest in the channel, to get new equipment and these kind of topics. So this is, this is needed because this is still a hobby for me, a free time project, right? And I had the possibility again to talk to so many great people from different companies from all over the world. And we come to that in a second where I would like to say thank you. Yeah, that, that's important. And as I just said, I work with many great brands out there and they're really, really cool. They support me on various collaborations, um, uh, content collaborations that we do together, like videos to showcase you what the software testing community and the software testing vendors have to offer. And right now I'm already working on some really cool stuff for next year. So stay tuned in case you haven't subscribed do so to not miss out. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, as I said, on September 3rd, I had, I hit the 100 K subscribers again, it was really cool. It felt unreal for me. It took me a couple of weeks then to reach the, or to, to finally got that, that play button. I, it's now visible in my background and I see it every day. And this keeps me motivated for you to create more content. Yeah. Uh, here you can see a quick change on the thumbnails. I mean, if you check the videos already, you could see the difference. But this was basically my thumbnail design for 2022, not 2023, sorry. And basically this, what, this is what I changed in 2024. Much more colorful, more, more precise, I would say, less distraction, stuff like that. So more precise what's going to happen in a video. And it paid off. I think so, it paid off, right? So that's that's the cool thing. Yeah, and be before we come to the brands, basically, I would like to thank you for viewing my content, basically. Without you and without your engagement, without your feedback in the comment section, in emails, in likes and shares and stuff, it I think I would never reach that thing. And that's the thing. Thank you very much for your engagement in 2024. I hope you come back in 2025 to give more feedback. Send me your questions. Send me your video wishes. I would really to see more of that and to prepare my next content contribution. And to be honest, my list is long, but if you have upcoming and trending topics that you think I should talk about, send it over. I am happy to engage with that. And as I just showed you for a quick second, thanks again for the following brands on that slide. The brands that I had the chance to work with in 2024. So it's the Tricentis company, the shifts in community. Thank you for that. The Digitale Leute School, like the Digital uh, People School, is where I'm a, a basically a software testing trainer. I teach product managers in software testing, which is really cool. Thanks for that opportunity. Be qualified for being a main sponsor of my channel videos. Sol de Velo for doing great content and doing great products for the testing community. Test Guild for yeah being awesome. Joe, right, to be another cool content creator on the software testing community. Practice test for your trust for the webinars that we're doing together. Test rail for blogging. Ministry of testing. Well, nothing else to say. Thanks for being on this planet. Thanks for being awesome for doing things for our community. Lambda test. Thanks for your collaborations as well. It was really nice working. Ask UI. Same stuff. Cool thing. If you haven't checked them out, please do so. Moropo. Cool mobile testing stuff that's on out there. Test wheel. Again, a really great co um, collaboration. Test Grid Labs, the same thing. Instabug, the same thing. Cute, the same thing. If I don't talk too many things about you, about your awesome products, sorry for that. You have been amazing. 
bug bug the same thing magic inspector and mitc as well and i hope i really hope that i haven't missed anyone if so i'm really sorry and it was just too many companies or brands i worked with in 2024 it was just awesome and i hope that you yeah keep stay with me so to say yeah keep connected with me because we have so many great products out there that the software testing community should uh, should know about and that's that's just what i would like to say thank you for being out there thanks for the contribution that you're doing for the testing community yeah so looking forward to 2025 what are my personal wishes well first of all staying healthy for me it's i'm really in a good position right i'm healthy i'm doing a lot of sports you're eating good food so that's really important for me it's my main goal for 2025 stay healthy not my myself as alone but also my friends my family and also you out there yeah as i said already doing more sports is important sitting all day is not so good um enjoying the time with my family again i hope i can do this as well next year and i think so and i'm really looking forward to that one as well well obvious one to continue to work on my youtube channel it's quite challenging at the moment for me because I have a, um, also a really cool day-to-day -day professional job that um, I love to do, but it also takes a lot of time and I need to find like the spare time again for YouTube. I do my very best. In case you miss something, let me know. And of course, having fun with all the things that we're doing out there. Yeah, that's important for me. Hopefully it's important for you as well. And last but not least, I think the same wish happened or like the same wish was also my last year's um yeah so to say look out for the next year for 2024 is like peace and happiness in this world there's so many bad things happening right now i mean that that doesn't need to be right i mean go out spread love be kind to other people and yeah do what you love what you would like to do and be happy yeah and with that i think we're done for today yes there's no more slides again Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being with me in 2024. I hope to see you in 2025 here as well on my channel. Ping me down below in the comments if you would like to see different content formats, you have video ideas, you have general feedback, drop me an email. You find the email address on my blog, Adventures in QA. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be here next year. And again, thank you very much. And as always, you know what's coming now, the three things. If you like the video, like it, share it and subscribe it. I hope to see you next year. Have a good one. See you and bye bye.